Good morning, everybody. Appreciate you being here. Um, you know, good work day today. Uh, we, obviously, with the extended uh, for the, the extended preseason time, uh, with the first game backing up, I uh, just uh, decided to practice this morning. Normally, Monday will be our off day. You know, we kind of rearranged the schedule. You know, guys were uh, were just met yesterday as we kind of wrapped up our our camp uh, calendar. Uh, we're still going to have a, a fall camp type of mentality. Um, what we decided to utilize today, you know, first day of classes, you know, you know, get guys up and rolling. Um, had a good practice, special teams practice, uh, some situational two-minute. I uh, thought guys are continuing to, look, to learn those situations, uh, you know, how we want those handled. Um, you know, I thought it was a, a good day of response for the offense. I think they came out and um, you know, executed in some, in some uh, challenging uh, situations, and uh, I thought they, they showed up well. There's still a lot of things that we're going to continue to, to grow and learn from. Um, you know, really trying to help, you know, the next few weeks get into that game shape of what we, um, you know, what we desire and uh, what we need to, to be in, uh, you know, as we prepare for, for Georgia Tech here in, the, in a few weeks. And so, um, you know, I think we're in, I think we're in good, a good place. You know, we're going to have a great week upcoming. Um, you know, Thursday will be our off day for the week. And, uh, you know, I, I know we're going to get two, two you know, really quality practices here the next couple of days. Uh, continuing to focus on ourselves before we break camp. Hey, Coach. Um, when the players had a chance to go back and look at the film, particularly the offensive players, when, when you guys were able to go back and look at the film from the scrimmage, uh, did did you get the sense that they understood where things broke down? Um, and and what do you like? What's the key to to building upon that? Yeah, you know, there was you know going back and watching the film and just just the consistency of the work. Um, you know, it's we're not far off. It, there were some things that you know, was allowed too many negative plays. You know, the, you know offensive football it, it takes all eleven to be on the same page, um, you know, to, to be productive. And there are a lot of plays that you know we're, we're a step here, uh, you know, uh, you know, move there, just to, in, in making sure that we're all operating and, and executing at the same uh, you know, with the same mindset and approach. Um, but it, it came down to some detailed things, and that's that's an area of that. We've got to grow from. You know, there were some bright spots that, that showed up, um, you know, throughout the scrimmage offensively. I thought, uh, um, you know, for the most part, part the quarterback, uh, the quarterbacks made good decisions. Um, you know, there was a couple that uh, that obviously they'd like to have back and continuing to to, to gain those experiences. Um, but uh, there was there was some efficiency in passing, some things that uh, you know, we've got to got to clean up as a whole. But um, you know, there were some there were some positives that came off the film, but you know, once again, if you have negative plays, if you don't, uh, uh, you know, if, if you put yourself behind the, the change and with the penalties and things like that, it's just hard to be a, a consistent offense. And so that's something that we're working on, and uh, you'll know, have to see it through. Good afternoon, coach. Just wondering, from a health standpoint, how's the team holding up after two weeks and a couple of scrimmages? Not bad. I mean, we're getting, uh, you know, we've had just like anybody else, you know, I mean, it would be, uh, you know, our normal bumps and bruises, but, um, you know, we've got a couple of guys that are they're working through, uh, working through, um, you know, minor, minor things, but, uh, you know, starting to get you know, some, some guys back. Uh, you know, like, uh, Keyshawn Helton is, is now, you know, we had two weeks of him in a uh, limited jersey. You know, he's, he's back to full go. Curtis Fan back to full go. Corey Durden um, back to, to full go. I think starting tomorrow. Um, you know, so some guys that uh, we need to you know, kind of kind of see progress along. Is uh, I think we're in, we're in a decent place. Um, you know, we have to have a great week this week, and uh, you know, but it's just it, it's normal camp. Uh, you know, some losers. Mike, where would you assess uh, the development of the offensive line at this point, just with the things you're asking them to do um, and the comfort in in the scheme? Uh, you know, I think they're getting better. I mean, every 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 day you see growth, you see a better understanding. Um, you know, we put a decent amount on those guys up front, just trying to find the the right combination. Um, you know, we've, we've uh, you know, tried tried a bunch of different pieces, and uh, you're going to continue to do that. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, you know, we'd like to have eight guys that we know that can go into the game and and you know, be synchronized in how they're in how they're playing, how they communicate. Uh, you know, we've got a couple of freshmen. Uh, you know, Robert Scott, Thomas Schrader, they're, they're, I, I believe are going to be in those in that eight. And so, you know, those 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 new guys are coming along. Um, you know, some guys that got game experience last year, um, you know, are, are uh, 
I believe you see the development of the quality all season. You know, we even though even with missing you know the spring practice, um, you know, the Gallus is doing a nice job with them. I'm excited about what the future of that group is going to be. Um, we have we do have you know I think Devontae brings a, a great leader. Um, you know, in, in that senior leadership, even though he's only been here for you know for one semester. Um, you know, he's a real, he's a pro, and he's a pro in how he approaches every day, what he does. I think he brings a, a lot to that group, and you know, these guys are all, all uh, you know, inspired by what they're being asked to do, but then they're, they're working hard to, to, to develop with, with those little things. Coach, good afternoon. Uh, my question, just out of my own ignorance, what was that orange jersey, uh, the meaning of that in the scrimmage this week? Um, you know, Nobody, uh, nobody in, in our program wants to see orange, so I'm going to keep the reason of it uh, within uh, within the, the program. But uh, you know, it's usually not a usually not a good thing. So. Oh, sorry. That's I said the orange jersey. I'm sorry. The orange jersey that players were wearing in the scrimmage. I wasn't asking about uh, Warren's status. I apologize. I was. I didn't answer about any status. I said the orange jersey is not a jersey that we want to see. So the. Uh, Yes, sir. It's uh, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the reasoning of it where it is, but uh, yeah. Good afternoon, Coach. Uh, I haven't seen I haven't heard a whole lot from uh, you or Coach Dillingham about Jordan Travis uh, lately. Was he able to scrimmage, and how's he how's he progressing? Uh, he, he he was not able to, to scrimmage uh, you know on Saturday. You know he's he's been. Uh, been working through a couple of things. Um, you know, I think it's not not anything that I'm concerned about uh, you know, long term. But he's had a couple, uh, you know, a couple of days where he's he's been on and off. So um, you know, uh, he's he's progressing well. I feel confident in, in him and where he's where he's at. He was not able to scrimmage on Saturday. And Mike, you you mentioned the return of both Corey Durden and Curtis Fan. Uh, we've heard good things from Coach Fuller from you about the depth of the defensive line so far in camp. Uh, can you expound on, one, what getting those two guys back will do the depth, and then, two, just how – how what are your thoughts on how the defensive line has done throughout camp to this point? I think I think there's you know, definitely been some, some bright moments, and um, you know, there's a lot of competition there. And we just need – we need the consistency of, uh, of every play, every rep, and giving un, unbelievable relentless effort. And that's the – that's the thing with when you have depth and you've got you know, guys that can come in and, and there's not a, a drop off between one and two. I mean, we should we should be playing with, with like our hairs on fire every snap, and you know, that's something that um, you know we're continuing to push those guys with. Um, but I, and I like I like the group that we have. I think getting Corey back, uh, you know, on the interior is going to going to continue to you know, bolster that. And um, you know, at the end of the day, you have to play at, at an extremely high level. There's guys that have probably played a lot of football here in the past, and if they don't if they don't show that, then they won't play much football here in the future. And uh, that's something that uh, you know it's it's a it's a constant challenge, um, you know, for guys to, to to give everything that they have, understanding that expectation, because uh, we just want them to be the, the best version of them. And uh, when you have depth, when you're able to uh, to play five, six different uh, you guys in that in the interior of the defensive line. I mean that provides you know a great opportunity for those explosive plays, but uh, you can't take a play off. And it's the same thing in our, in our end position. Um, really been pleased with the, what I've seen from you know Kando. You know Quayshon Fuller is really coming along. Uh, I know um, you know I think he's had a really really solid camp. Um, you know over at the Fox position, you get three guys that are all competing to, to, to what you know who wants that job and who's who's willing to show up at you know at every single rep. Uh, you know, and it might be my committee at that position. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to, to see how that uh, competition unfolds you know, here in these next few weeks and um, as we get ready for Georgia Tech. But with depth, I mean, you, uh, the effort and the explosiveness of that front should be, you know, pretty relentless. Hey, Coach, you talked about uh, Keyshawn being back. I know he's somebody who, even when he wasn't kind of back in a full capacity, you're very high on what he was able to do. I guess, have you kind of seen another – Gear from him and him now being back full go. And I guess just how nice is it seeing all that work he's put in this offseason? I um, mean, he, he did an incredible job with his rehabilitation. And I mean, to see somebody coming off of that type of knee injury and the explosiveness, the change of direction, 
um, the things that he's able to do really since we began camp. I mean, you know, it's there's going to be a you know getting acclimated, you know, back into day in and day out some things that you know we're going to be smart with him. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, the, the when the ball is snapped and he's getting his repetitions, it's it's impressive to see the. the you know, just the explosiveness that he has. And so I'm excited for him. I'm really proud of him for the work that he put in and uh, excited to see what he's going to be able to do this season. Hey, Coach, of, of all the uh, unorthodox things that, that happened during this offseason, um, how about the rehab process for some of these guys? Like you mentioned Corey Durden and Keyshawn, and these guys are coming back from injuries. And I know some guys weren't even in Tallahassee. Um, how did that process go? go and and how do you feel about how they all came back uh, I, feel, I feel really good about it and uh you know i, I gotta take out the, the jake you know our uh, athletic training staff i mean um you know, he did a wonderful job or, you know even when guys were not in tallahassee and trying to find whether it was an individual clinic or or a place that that had access to get these guys set up uh, to be able to continue their rehab uh, some of the guys you know, and then you know, some guys made some great sacrifices you know, some guys did not leave Tallahassee so they could continue to, to come in and continue to do their rehab and um, you know, I, you know obviously uh, observing and, and working through the, all the different protocols they had to um, but I mean it, it shows up guys like Keyshawn like uh, Hamza I mean those I mean, what they've been able to do Corey um, you know King Dent was one that had, a, had an injury in the spring uh, and you know has come back and not, not missed a step so um, you know, really pleased with the work those guys did, and uh, you know, it's put them in, in a nice position to come out and help contribute to the team. Just from a scheduling standpoint of having kind of a different preseason, do you plan to scrimmage a third time at the end of this week, or do you pivot and go full game preparation? No, we might get we might get a, a couple series here and there throughout the week. You know, where we might where we you know wrap it up, but um, you know, probably not going to scrimmage. We'll we'll. Uh, on Saturday, I'll probably let uh, you know guys that are still competing for those, you know, maybe the, the, the second or third group, you know, get a get a little bit of work at the end of end of Saturday's practice. Um, but you know, we're as we're narrowing down, you know, which we're trying to get that established, and we probably won't do it in our full team scrimmage. After two scrimmages now, coach, you, you talk about creating your offense around your talent and your playmakers. Do you now have a better idea of, of what they can do and what you want to build around them? Or do they still have to work on sort of the base stuff that you and Kenny need to be able to, to work off of? Yeah, I mean, that's been a, it's, it's a daily process of, of continuing to evolve what we're doing and how we're doing it. Um, I feel good with, with where we are and the guys of what, I, of what I've seen, but um, yeah, that's going to continue to develop all the way through the, the entire season. And uh, I think if you go back and, and where I've been in year one, you know, what we started with, you know, and probably what it looked like early, um, you know, have all been changed throughout the season because, you know, especially not having the spring practice, um, you know, we need as, as, as many repetitions to, to let guys get a great sense and feel for what they're being asked to do. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, there's some things we took out of the scrimmage the other day that, you know, we're tweaking here, tweaking there, um, just to, to really play to the strengths of, of, of some of the talent that we have. And so, um, but it's it, that, that's just an uh, always evolving process. Uh, hey, Coach, uh, just wanted to ask you something a little different. The FHSAA is letting fall camp start today. I just wanted to know, I know when you came in, one of your big, big pushes was building relationships with the high school coaches in the state of Florida. Obviously, the pandemic has made that difficult to do by traditional means, but what does that look like with you as you're trying to build inroads here in the state of Florida? Well, I mean, the, the, the face-to-face uh, interaction, that is a, that is a, a great challenge. And, uh, you know, not being able to have people, you know, on campus, you know, some of the things that, that have, uh, um, you know, kind of the, the barriers to the, uh, to the quarantine and, uh, you know, all the, the protocols has, has been, been, uh, been tough, but, um, you know, we've, We've tried to do everything that we can. We look, all, you know, even back to uh, the December and January, February, all the way up until we were, we were shut down. I mean, we tried to go to different areas of the state, have coaches socials. You know, first uh, to, uh, you know, week of practice here, it's coaches social here um, that was open to all high school coaches. Um, you know, just continue to get the word out. Um, you know, I've, I've tried to make uh, up to you know, thirty calls a week. Uh, you know, just to random uh, you know coaches that have been in our area to introduce myself and. 
uh, start building that building those those type of relationships and um, you know, it's, a, it's just an, it'll be an always always evolving process much like we talked about with our our, our offense or defense I mean it's, it's the same thing in building relationships so it's, it's it's one day at a time um, you know as people get get a great sense of who we are what we're out all about you know the experience that our players have and and uh, where the, the way that they uh, uh, you know grow and are treated within the program and I think all those things are going to help and you're definitely excited about uh, when we do get past these, the dead period and uh, you'll get a chance to get back out into, into the high schools and have them here on campus. Uh, they just, uh, uh, we'll, we'll continue to go and build on that. More of like a philosophical question, Coach, but how do you balance what you see with your eyes live during a scrimmage or a practice and then, you know, in the quiet aloneness of, of watching film afterwards? I guess, how do you sort of balance what you feel you know, instinctually, and then when you're able to watch it back 48 hours later. You know, the I guess the biggest thing that's a really good question too, because it's uh, it's one of those things as a coach. You know, you have to take a little bit of both. You know, when you're on the field, you get a sense of, of the the intensity, the body language, the the overall mindset, the um, you know, the, the enth enthusiasm that that young men are playing with. Um, that you know, as well as the tempo. But when you watch when you watch film. Uh, usually it's cut up. You don't get a great sense of, of all of those things. You're just watching the play. Um, so it's a, you know, there's times that you, you might come off the field and you feel like it was a, uh, a great practice due to all the other factors, but then you see the, the details when you, when you slow it down and some of those things that are lacking that can put you in a terrible position um, in, in trying to have success. On the flip side of it, there's times that you think, um, you know, things are, you know, not very good for, whatever those other reasons are, you come in and watch film and you see just you know, how close you are or some of the, the bright spots that we saw. Uh, and, and that was part of a little bit of Saturday night. I mean, there were some really good plays, uh, you know, offensively and some guys that, that played at a, their highest level uh, since we've been here. But, you know, collectively as a group, it wasn't where it needed to be for us to have success or, or to sustain success. And so, um, you know, that, that's, the, and that's what we talked to the guys about on Sunday. You bring them in, uh, you get the group together, and uh, we showed them we showed them 12 plays where, you know, if, if it might have been one person that would have done, you know, their job to, to the level of what, we were, what they're being asked to do, um, where it would have been a, a, a huge success. And then we go back and show, you know, we showed basically two drives where there was man, positive, 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 then one play that's a setback and what that did uh, to our to our drive. And so um, I, I thought it was a good uh, learning experience for them, but uh, it's, it's a, it, it is a, a challenging balance, but also a, nece a necessity, um, you know, the coaches looking at both, both parts of it. All right, thanks guys.